So this is an incredible story. A Mississippi teenager being hailed a hero after saving four people, including a police officer, from drowning in the Pascagoula River last weekend. It happened after a car with three teenage girls inside uh, drove off the I-10 boat launch, plunging into the water. 16-year-old Corian Evans saw the car uh, begin to sink and quickly jumped into action. One of the survivors talked about this terrifying ordeal that nearly took her life. I knew my last breath was coming, and so I just let my phone down, and then I was just like this, like trying to stay calm and stay over water. When I tell you right before my last time going under water, that was going to be my last time going under water, and Korea had grabbed me. And I was right there looking at it, so I couldn't just watch nobody die. Even when I seen a police officer, I couldn't just sit there and watch nobody die. And Corian is joining me now. Oh, my gosh, Corian, how incredible that you were there in the right place at the right time to help these girls to save their life and the life of a police officer. What happened? Take me there. Oh, uh, yeah, it was it was a crazy night. It was um, after a party, and we usually have a place that we go, but that had got shut down, so we are like, we're just going to go under the bridge because it's like a boat lunch. It's room yeah. for parking, you know, so we could just go out there and have a good time, so... It was getting late. We were getting ready to leave. And so I got in my car, and I was getting ready to pull off. And I seen another car pull off behind me. And I seen them drive in a direction towards the water. And I'm like, but the, the, the street is towards that way. Why are they going towards the water? So I'm watching them. And going into the water is like a ramp going down into it. And so oh I'm watching God. them. And as I'm watching the car, I see the car drive straight down the ramp. And I'm like, I'm a little confused. I'm like... Um, I know they're gonna like. I'm I'm thinking they're about to get ready to come back up or reverse back up. But then I seen people run over there, and so I got out of my car. Um, and so when I start running over there, I start hearing people yelling help. So then that's when I, I like sped up my running. I heard, heard people saying help, and I got over there and I ran and I seen them in the water. They're all they're all um out of I mean in the water. The car I see the cars underwater. And I just see them screaming help. And when I first seen them, I was like in shock. I was like, no, no way this is really happening. But then I had to I had to snap out of it quick. And so I just took my shoes off and I took my shirt off and I and I threw my phone out of my pocket. And I just I just jumped in the water. And you know, I just at first I got the girl that was closest to me and um I grabbed her and I had to swim her back to shore. I gave her to somebody that was at shore. And then um, it was still two girls that was also in the water. So then I had to swim for shore and go back out into the water. There was about 20 feet out there. I had to go back into the water and go um, get the other girls. They were still, and one of them was in the water panicking a lot. But some of the car was still above the water, um, like the front windshield and like kind of the top of the roof. So I had to go back out there in the water. And the girl that was panicking, I had to get her. And I'm swimming her. I'm like, oh, come on, let's go get back to the car. Just calm down, catch your breath. And the other girl, she didn't know how to swim, but she oh. knows how to, like, keep her head above water and trail water so she won't go under. So I'm, I'm telling them, like, come on, let's get on top of the car. Um, Just calm down, calm down. She's still panicking. And that's when um the officer, Officer Mercer arrived. And when he arrived, he swam out there to us. We were, we were still sitting on top of the car. He swam out there to us, and um, he was telling her, the girl right there, he was telling her, like, I got you. We're going to be okay. We're going to make it back. I got you. And um, she got on his back, and when she, um, when he tried to swim from her panicking, she also started taking him under. And so wow. he was going under, trying to come back up. He was swallowing a lot of water. And so he, he was telling her, like, I can't. I, I can't keep going. I can't. He was swallowing a lot of water. He he couldn't breathe. You know, he he had on his gear. He couldn't breathe. Um, so that's when I had to jump off top of the car, and I had to go and help them. Like, I was behind them trying to keep them both above water and, like, push them forward towards shore at the same time. The officer and the girl, I was trying to do it with both of them. And so I'm knowing that the girl can't swim, and she was panicking. So I started mainly focusing on the girl. So I started focusing. You know, the girl trying to help her get to shore, like, faster because I know she can't swim. 
And so I got close to the shore. I felt myself. I could walk. Like, when I feel my feet touching the ground, that's when I, like, just gave her to somebody. Before, I was like, here, get her. And um, behind, I turn around, and I see the officer. He's drowning. He's, like, going underwater. He's, he's like, gasping for air. He's, he's trying to stay above the water. He starts struggling to um, stay above the water. So that's when I had to leave again. And then I had to go and grab the officer and bring him back to the shore. And when he got there, he was he couldn't breathe. He was laying on the ground. He was throwing up. Like he was he was, the officer was really about to drown. And Corian, yeah, that was all. They they made it back. Corian, um I'm glad you ate your Wheaties that morning. And you have some yeah, good yeah. good parents that raised you, um, doing the right thing there and, and, and teaching you how to swim as well, knowing how to rescue these people and doing the right thing and jumping in the water at the right time to get them out. Uh, we are blessed to have you in this world, and, and those girls are blessed um, that you were there um, at the right place at the right time. Thank you for taking us through.